Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Scholar of the First Sin. Um, in the last episode, I made it through about half of this area with the help of Bashful Ray. Now in this episode, my weapon is kind of on the edge of breaking. Durability is not looking good. However, I do need to still get through this cave area because I need the key to unlock the bonfire, which... This is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, man. Mainly because it's really dark in here. Okay, the sorcerer doesn't appear to be in the same location. In fact, he's right here. Luckily, for me, he's pretty weak. Only thing I gotta do now is get these skeletons and not get stunlocked into oblivion. Okay. Combustion and Titanite Shard. I might keep Combustion to... I don't know if I want to get to two attunement slots. Or if one's going to be enough. Do I want to make that jump? That's the question. It's risky. No, no, not now. I don't want to like restart the whole area by accidentally screwing up my jump. Is this guy tied to the Necromancer I just killed? Yes. You can always tell... Oh, nice. You can always tell by whether you get uh, souls from him or not. Fuck, I'm afraid of this weapon now. So close to breaking. Good. Just last a little bit more, please. Just a little bit more. Oh, shit. Yeah, these skeletons are not difficult. It's not really what I'm worried about right now. Ah, shit. You probably take like one or two more hits. I really don't want to... If you don't know um, repairing in this weapon... Uh, I mean, repairing in this game is pretty expensive. Because they make it so that bonfires... Wait, where the fuck is the key, though? Oh, don't tell me it's that jump. That's where the key is. Oh, shit. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, fuck. I'm so close. You know what? We'll put away our weapon. I'm afraid that that's going to be the key. Unless I already picked up the key. Or I missed the key completely. I honestly don't know. Oh, I still have my crossbow on. Not that I'm going to need it. Oh, shit. Don't you dare get away from me. Fucking crystal lizard. Okay, let's see. Which one is the jump? Yeah, it's L3. It's not. Oh, lacerating arrows. Nice. That is so weird. Maybe I've already picked up the key and I just didn't notice. God, I completely forgot. I can just check my inventory, though. Keys are right here. Opens the stone lock away in Huntsman's Cove. This is it. Wow, what? <laughs> Look at these guys. What the hell is going on with you? That is an interesting way to die. Okay, skeletons. Yeah, the skeletons in this game do some weird shit sometimes. Well then, where the hell is that guy running? Did he just run off the cliff? I don't think he did. That is weird as hell. Okay, this is... Creighton is still in here, looks like. Yeah, we know his dialogue. We free him. He's kind of an asshole, but he doesn't actually like hurt you at any time. Not like patches, but it is implied that this guy is a serial killer. So yeah, let's get this gesture. I think he's gonna despawn now. I'm gonna light this bonfire and rest. Well, I think it's time to take out the skeleton lords. I'm gonna go ahead and de-equip these because I'm not gonna need them. I could use up, go and use up that Estus Flask Shard. Honestly, don't really need it right now. Let's go and get through this. Sprinting to this boss is very easy. Probably one of the easiest boss runs in the game. Just gotta go through this cave. Hopefully they haven't like increased the... Oh, that is that was like weirdly accurate. The sorcerers or mages or whatever still don't respawn, which is good, I guess. Oh, shit. That's Creighton. Wait a second. That fucking crystal lizard, I missed it again. Well then, 
change of plans. It's good that you can summon Kraten now. Because it was always weird that this is like one of the bosses where there is no summon available at all. Getting my ass handed to me. Yeah, this is the problem with the skeletons. They're not dangerous at all. Oh, nice, a falchion. Unless you get swarmed by them. Hell yeah, I'm gonna summon Kraten. Wonder how useful he is. He's actually a real phantom, not a what you call it, a shade. Wonder what gesture he's gonna be doing. Hey there, Creighton. Come on, let's go. That is so awesome because, well, you never really get to see Creighton fight if you don't complete his quest line. He just kind of sits around. So this is cool. I wonder how strong he's gonna, he's gonna be. He's probably gonna get stunlocked to oblivion by the um, wheel, bone wheel skeletons. So yeah, we'll see. He's gonna be a distraction. Oh, but then I'm not gonna be able to control who he kills though. Is Am I? Okay, this might be a problem. Well, whatever. We'll just deal with this. Because the thing with this boss fight is that you kind of want to be careful on who you kill. Oh, I'm just getting fucked over here by these two skeletons. That's one. See, he's killing that one, which is pretty shitty because you're going to have to deal with the bone wheels. I'm just going to weaken them too. Weaken them, weakening them is a good idea. Wow, Creighton, you're just, like, not doing well. He has a lot of HP, though. You see that. God, this boss fight just beca became a huge mess. Yeah, alright. I'm, I'm gonna check... I mean, I wanted to check out Creighton, but... Well, we might as well take care of the bone wheels at this point. They're, sh they're not... They shouldn't be that threatening. To be honest. This is where they spawn. Yep. Oh, they no, they spawn differently now. S can still one-shot them, which is nice. Oh, I just killed the other one. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a bone wheel for a second. Should be still some left around, isn't there? Or aren't there? Wow, there's a lot of skeletons. Holy shit. Okay, Creighton. This is pretty much up to us now. Well, no, actually, because this is done at this point, this boss. But yeah, they yeah they definitely summon a lot more skeletons. There weren't nearly as many um, in the normal game. Maybe they only spawn more if you summon someone. I wonder if he can kill that on his own. Mailbreaker, pretty shitty. Well done. Goodbye, Creighton. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, it doesn't do a gesture. Oh well, that was pretty easy still. I'm probably never gonna summon him again because, like I said, that just made the boss fight uh, a lot more chaotic. But well, we're done here. Let's move on to Earth and Peak. Now, the thing about Creighton that's interesting, that weapon he's using is the Dragon Slayer Crescent Axe. And it kind of is implied that the weapon he's using is a forgery because that weapon is supposed to do lightning damage. But as you probably saw, his does no lightning damage at all. So yeah, it's kind of implied that this guy is like an all-around fake. And the fact that he has a weapon that is a forgery kind of confirms that. Just like a nice little touch, you know, that they included. Because you can pick up dr the Dragon Slayer Crescent Axe, and they say it belongs to someone named Shieldless Lothian. Oh wow, this area is a lot brighter than it used to be. Holy shit. Yeah, Harvest, Harvest Valley. Gonna head back to Majula now. 30,000 souls. That's quite a bit. And in terms of where I'm gonna go next... I could clear out I could just clear out the Bastille and get that over with. 
Or I don't know. Well, first we're gonna turn in our flask shard. Whatever the case. Get to five Estus flasks. That that really should have some sort of animation, or like some effect. Um, hmm. I could get to. Let's get to twenty adaptability and 19 endurance I think I'm really not gonna go above like 23 25 in terms of adaptability so yeah we are getting there because you don't even know how important that roll speed is oh I could I could have just hmm those bright box should be useful I think they increase in price every time you kill one of the uh, four great bosses. So maybe I'll hold off killing the Lost Sinner. Because I, I do want to buy some Bright Bugs before moving on. I actually, I should, have, I should have enough consumables, shouldn't I? Because Bright Bugs are incredibly useful. Yeah, you know what? Let's buy two of these. Basically what Bright Bugs do is... Oh, you know what? We can also get the plus one Silver Serpent Ring. I don't even need it, honestly. Hmm. Where should we head? Um, let's go make some progress here. Why not? This is an incredibly easy area. Might be able to get the Covetous Demon in this episode too. If I'm quick enough. Depending on how well I want to explore this area. It is better to run through the swamp than dodge through it. Basically, if you like jump or roll through it, your whole body is covered in poison. And then the buildup is a lot stronger. Cloan, very useful. Later on. She probably mostly becomes useful after Drang Lake Castle. First of all, when you have enough souls to buy all the stones she has. And second of all, when she starts selling all of the stones. Okay, good. And this is probably the funniest skeleton in the game. He's listening to the fucking wall here. Well, whatever floats his boat. These enemies are very annoying. Oh, there's something crawling around. That wasn't there before. Huh, new enemy. That I can't fucking hit. Well, ah, shit. Let's just chill here and wait for the poison to run out. I only have two mosses, so I would rather not use them up. There seem to be a lot more treasure here. Yeah, there there's like twice or three times as more. I'll probably wait to get this until I pick up the poison bite ring, which... Because I think the poison in this area doesn't even drain... Even after you drain the poison from the area, like with the windmill. Oh, shit. Well, that does a lot less damage than it used to. That attack pretty much used to be a one-shot. So I think they may have toned down the damage a bit. If we go up here... Oh! It's one of those... Huh, that's weird. Well, they definitely changed that because... These desert sorceresses... Were never here. They only appear inside the... Inside the... Uh, tower. There used to be some of those... Uh, like big hulking whatever's here. How did that hit me? These enemies are dangerous, by the way. The pyromancies are very powerful. They have one of the coolest sets in the game. At least the hood. The hood is awesome. And it matches really well with a lot of things. So if I get the hood... Well, there you go. Just fell off. It's unfortunate that you can't jump over here. Anyways, please be the hood. No, 
they have a bunch of st stuff that they drop. Um, most of it is not very useful. It's a lot of like sorcerers or magey stuff. I'm gonna light this bonfire, but... Oh, that's interesting. Gotta be a lot more careful in this area because... Oh shit, I shouldn't have rested. Oh well. Um, all of these spots contain poison, so... Let's... Are you kidding me? It's like Dragonary up in here. Oh fuck. My stamina. Large shard. Got a pale stone. Shit, I'm gonna get these crystal lizards. Yeah, this is like Dragonary. Which kind of makes sense because this is supposed to be a mine where they harvest um, Titanite shard. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck. I'm an idiot. Well, you could technically just break all of these and then rest at the bonfire. I don't know, like, what was the point of putting these here. Really doesn't make that much of a difference. There's one of these motherfuckers here. God, the katana has, like, trouble getting these guys. Fuck. Are you serious? Well, you know what? We're just gonna go explore this area a bit. That's kind of a difficult gauntlet in there. And you should break through. And we need to get you to attack this somehow. Not attack me. Come on. Come on, Ferrotor. Are you fucking kidding me? This is Ferrotor, basically. Demon has like the little guy on top of him. God, I never even thought of that. It looks like that spell has become a lot more accurate because it was easy to dodge before. But it dealt less damage. Or, I mean, it dealt more damage. So I guess that's how they balanced it in the end. You know what? Fuck that treasure. There's not even anything useful down there. I don't know why I even bothered. Fuck. Gotta remember how to kill crystal lizards in this game. It's jumping attacks, isn't it? Yeah. Although they don't really drop anything too useful. Especially since I had this weapon up to plus six. Let's just kill you and get it over with. Let's just give it one more try. Do it. I don't think the magic breaks it though. Yeah, no, this is not gonna work. Whatever. Really isn't gonna make that much of a difference. Let's pick up this. Poison stone, rotten pine resin. Rotten pine resin. Not really useful. I mean, probably like 90% of the time you're gonna kill your enemy before you're gonna be able to inflict them with poison. Oh, there's a skeleton down here. That's clever. Unless you're using something like the Spotted Whip, I think it's called. You know, there are easier ways to inflict poison than Rotten Pine Resin. Only certain weapons, though, work with, well with poison. Which is... I mean, poison is incredibly useful in this game. No, oof, I, was me I meant to do a jumping attack. Good. None of you dropped a chunk. That's a shame. In terms of time, I, it looks like I might not have enough time for the Covetous. But I will definitely have time for this area. Holy shit. I've forgotten how difficult this can be. Oh, fuck. Let's go and heal up. These guys are, are slow though, so got that going for us. Let's lure them. Wow. Like annihilated me. Basically, what you're supposed to do is lure them down, and then lead them up so they're in single file, and then it becomes pretty pretty easy to kill them. Once you do that, these guys would be so easy to take care of in Bloodborne. But your speed, man, your speed really does matter a lot. I'm gonna de I de-equip the stone ring because. As you probably saw, I can't stun lock them or stun these guys in one hit. So it really doesn't matter too much. 
God, they're difficult too. I don't remember them being this hard to dodge. Oh, should get up to the top. Okay, this is what we want. And then we can just like... Bait and attack. And counter. They take a decent chunk of damage from me. Ooh, watch out. Yeah, they're like unfazed by anything that I do in terms of getting stunned. And when you get over here... Ah, fuck. Just roll down and repeat the process. Oh, I didn't think he would come back. Why am I having so much trouble dodging these guys? They're not... Their attacks are so slow. Dodging in this game is a lot more difficult, by the way. Because it's so dependent on your adaptability. Looks like they only have that two-hit combo, though. There is a lot of useful stuff. Well, semi-useful stuff here. Okay. Good. Actually doing not too terribly here. See, I stunned them there, but I ran out of stamina like an idiot. Wow, that does a shit ton of damage. And you're almost dead. Fucking hell. I don't remember these guys being this strong, though. Yeah, there's like so much delay on each of their attacks. Ah, fuck, I still can't dodge it. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna have to be really careful of these guys. Because that just wasted a lot of resources. Not that it matters, because... Once I pick up all the treasure here, I can just head back to the bonfire and... Just like, not even worry about this area anymore. Never really, never really need to come back here. Large shard. It looks like they changed what's down here, because there used to be mainly Skeptic Spice and... Um, what is the other one? Simpleton Spice down here. And there also used to be a Crystal Lizard here, which doesn't appear anymore. I guess they put all those Crystal Lizards down here. This should be... It's not. It's a fucking petrified something. This used to be, a, what you call it, a fragrant branch. Oh, there is a Skeptic Spice here. Well, I'm 23 minutes in. I think what I'm going to do is wrap up this area, or wrap up this episode. I'm going to head back to the bonfire, and I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.